on the table, I've got a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, also known as an SM-G955F. And this particular one has been, had twerp installed, and it's now got an unofficial Lineage OS uh, ROM installed on there. So the twerp stuff's been installed, the ROM's been told to be installed, and this is the initial setup procedure when you first start up the phone. So I'll just quickly rush through all this, and then I'll get into the ROM itself. And there we go, we just, as we've loaded up, you can see we've got a choice of two different launchers. Standard Pixel Launcher, and I believe it's Trebuchet. So we'll go with that one just to begin with. As we're seeing, everything's all looking fairly Android 9. Nothing too crazy. So what I'm going to do from here is have a bit of a flip around and just go through the various settings and menus on here. the menus, most stuff seems fairly standard, relatively up-to-date security patches, no real major dramas. The biggest issue I found with this ROM itself, which doesn't really, it's not really a non-issue to me, but as you'll soon see, the camera has a bit of a delay switching from rear-facing to forward-facing. A lot, the, yeah, the delay is a little bit, only a few seconds. But it's definitely something I'm not used to seeing on this particular model of phone, or most modern smartphones. So I'll skip to that in just a second. the camera. As you see the rear facing is working fine, just on a black surface you're not going to see anything. And I've told it to switch to forward facing camera. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There we go. So that did take a while. It does improve. So now back on rear facing, switching to forward. There we go. So there is a few second delay in between switching between the two. But if it's something you're not really switching that often, it's really not an issue. Anyway, I'll keep flicking through the menus and I'll probably stop talking from here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.